wonderful, really. So from the first moment, I was, uh, um, I became clucky, you know, and loved the children. And I could have gone on, had more, I suppose, if I, if I wanted to. Because I thought, well, I haven't got a family, so I'll make my own family. We got married actually stating zero slash one children. That was our agreement. And I maintain to this day that that was a loophole that was interpreted as zero slash one pregnancies. Because um, as I have told you earlier, we um, were blessed with triplets when we decided to go for children because we actually had some scientific assistance. We were on the IVF program after a few years of being unsuccessful. And um, eventually we, I suppose, hit the jackpot. We um, ended up with three children which neatly sidestepped a major concern of Fiona's. She was a middle child and never wanted any of her children to be middle child. And that was a way around it, I guess. We could run and go, and we did, all over Canberra. We'd just be given a paper bag with some fruit and a sandwich, paste a piece of cake and a bottle of water, and off we'd go through the day. There's a party on the hill, would you like to come? Yes. I really enjoyed school. I mean, I had a wheelchair that had two um, arms up the top, like an old, old wheelchair, with two big wheels in front and a small wheel at the back. And it had two push rims that you held onto up in front of you and two arms on it. And it was a big chair, it was for a man. They didn't make chairs for little girls um, in the 40s. It was a man-sized chair. And I often had a girl on each side of the wheelchair, on each arm, helping me and pushing with me. And we'd whiz down the playground, almost hitting other girls and having fun. And, and then they'd toss me out of the wheelchair and get in the chair and have a go. Oh, yes, I mean, we, we were very naughty, just typical children. So in summer... During the summer holidays, my brother and I would spend the whole day on the beach and my mother would bring lunch down to us and have lunch with us in the form of sandwiches and we'd be there really all day. Kicked my shoes off when school finished and didn't put them on again until we went back to school after the school holidays. We settled in Dulwich Hill and I went to Canterbury Girls where every second girl was Greek, um, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Korean, Vietnamese, something else. I thought, oh, I feel much more normal here. Oh, right. Um, because I was with lots of other kids who had the same migrant experience. High school I hit when I was on the Gold Coast. That was such a momentous time to turn into a teenager. Always the sense that the world just keeps expanding. Your um, exposure to it, you know, how, how blinkered have you been till now? On my arm I've got a large number of stars, big ones and little ones, and a few of them are coloured in with the, the colours of the pride flag. But also the big stars represent my parents and my brothers and sisters, and the little stars are all their kids. So that's something that means a lot to me. There are rainbow families with kids that are young adults I think perhaps it's, it might be that we're more visible and therefore there's more opportunities for couples to consider starting their own family. Uh, so I think visibility is the key to growing these communities. But I think they always existed. I just think perhaps people weren't very visible. Growing up as a young man, you take the back seat because there are elders to perform the activities that need to be undertaken, any protocols that had to be performed. You've got your uncles and your father and that generation to do it. But comes a time when you realise that you're it. There's nobody else to look up to because everybody else is looking up at you now for directions. So you can let old age rule your life or you can say, I'll go out swinging. There's a joke in the family that says, as they carry my coffin out of the cathedral, I'll be knocking on the lid saying, doesn't anyone want something done? And I think that's it. Old age is what you make it.